Oh, Isabel? Oh, dang. Oh, yo, it's funny because Wardy was like playing it <laughs> as he's shaking his head. <laughs> he had to play on Isabel at another turn he entered. And uh, he was like, he messaged me in the group chat, like, after game one, like, yo, what the heck do you even do versus Isabel? So uh, let's see what happens here. He doesn't know, he doesn't know Isabel much, but I would assume, uh, you know, a lot of people still don't know Ballot that well. So I, it works out for both players, I guess. We'll see. I think off the bat, though, if you're, I could have a disjoint. You're automatically like at least decent against like Villager Isabel, because like they even though they have a projectile, they don't. I don't know. They just struggle in like the mid range a lot of times. They're just slow in the air. Oh, there it is. No one expects being able like someone to punch them like a, feet, a foot away from the ledge. So you get ledge trapped from almost the pokeball. Sinners like it's so far away. I, I see that F smash hit neutral grid up all the time. And you know everyone wants to neutral grid up in this game. Because they want that whatever frame of invincibility they can have. So, yeah, that hits a lot. Oh, what's he what's he doing with this down B? Ooh, I like it. I like the choice. The the, the down B trap at the ledge to cover roll and then beat it with the down smash. It didn't kill, but, like, if you did, like, maybe a turnaround up smash instead, probably would have got that. Ooh. Yo. So, he covered roll with the Lloyd trap again at the ledge and then immediately got the fishing rod. That, that was nice. Yes, that's, what, that's what you want with the, the Isabels. You want, you want the Isabel setups. Why'd you come on the mic just to say that, dude? I'm over here commentating by myself. And you're just gonna. All right, bro. Yeah, let's go Warchief, though. Warchief is the guy that usually streams uh, w and, or MSM and all the other big 2G tournaments. So, like, a lot of people just don't even know he plays this game or even who he is in the first place. So, uh, that's why he's on stream right now. But, uh, yeah, Drix is kind of. Kind of getting the, in the hang of this matchup, I think. He's doing a little bit better before. At least he has a decent percent lead. Oh, yeah. Watch that neutral grid up, though. You already know that the Violet mains are swinging that S smash tipper every time. Oh, see, I always get scared when you go off stage versus Violet like that because you always got that up B like sniping your toes and scooping you up like with that surprise spike. Oh, there it is again, dude. That's so good. Nice. I like the down B trap there. This time he got the down smash to kill, so it's good. Ooh, he knew he was gonna roll in. Oh yeah, War Chief, man, he's he's getting caught in the Isabel vortex right now. Yeah, no tech on that either. Try to get a jab lock too. All right, this Drix is uh he's living up to the psychic tag right now. It's like yeah, I'm reading everything you're doing right here. Okay. Oh no, no roll for you. Sorry, War Chief, but that forward air tipper, man, so good at killing. And a lot of people like I feel like they're not good at parrying it yet because it has like a little bit of startup it doesn't instantly come out oh again dude he always has the down b at the ledge it's so smart what are you gonna do about this all right okay yeah he interrupted him before his f smash came out war team's trying to cheese him with that early like 40 percent kill f smash with the rage I, I feel it you're down by a lot you need you need some uh some special assistance from the game Oh my god. Oh my god, he's just swinging it. It's completely safe because Isabel is so slow. Ooh, tipper back air. All right. Has him oh man, my guy's going crazy. Ooh, that down smash missed the roll. All right, this is suddenly very close. Yeah, no tipper on the F smash or the F air, but he's still getting some good percent. Isabel, I want to say tipper at the ledge. He's at he's some kill percent, but oh, he's really far off stage. Can Violet recovery save him? Yes, it can. Covered from the depths, always. Okay. I mean, it's kind of hard, but I feel it. I feel an up smash coming in the uh, Byleth's future. Like that, that up, that Byleth up smash is pretty good. Oh, why? He heard me. He heard me. Why'd you listen to me? <laughs> uh, okay, that was that was. I know it scoops the up smash like in front pretty well, but you got to be decently close, and it catches jump. So I guess he was expecting ledge jump there to catch it. Either or, that was a, that was a pretty decent comeback from a War Chief. He brought it back pretty close. But a game one's gonna go to Drix. And I already see he's shaking his head like, <laughs> why? Why do I have to play another Isabel, bro? I'm just trying to have fun with with Violet out here. Yeah. Let's see. We're back on PS2. Salty run back. You know he's upset. He's he's not gonna he's not gonna counter pick. Let's go back to the same stage. I don't know. I always think that's weird, especially after he's lost, because, like, 
Dude, don't you want to, like, give your opponent, like, a different stage after they just beat you? They're, they're already comfortable on this stage. And, like, they're already up 1-0. I don't know. That's just my, my thought about it. But, uh, let's see. He did bring it pretty close, so he could play a little bit more clutch this game and bring it to game three. Oh. Like the fishing rod. He hasn't used the fishing rod that much, but it's really tricky. So I can see him, you know, getting some more off of that. He commits to it a little bit more. Luckily, he didn't get Tipper F smash there. But oh my God, speaking of Tipper, there's that Tipper back air. I wish Marth had that. Just saying. Oh, max range Tipper fair. I think that does uh, 15, 14%. That adds up a lot, man. Okay. Yep, the hook. He's just tossing him all the way off stage with fishing rod. Violet can go so low that it can ignore the fishing rod, though. It's kind of funny. Okay, we space him now. Nice snipe, but he didn't hit him out of his second jump, so he can still get back to the ledge pretty safe. Ooh, he got the dash act to hit, tipper, and he destroyed the down B. That's value, but there's the fishing rod. The fishing rod up throw, yeah, that's a kill move. You got to be careful of that. Oh, did he hit him into the bomb? No, too far away. And uh, Yeah, he's really going for these like tech chase, mixed the tech, maybe go for an Isabel jab lock, but hasn't got it to work just yet. Oh, nice. Applying the pressure, Isabel recovery is exploitable here. Yep. Ooh, but he barely missed. Yeah, Isabel Villager, they're completely helpless during their FB, so if you have opportunity, just hit him during that animation. Oh, that Nair is pretty good at catching neutral get up. But he needs like he needs a bigger punish on his ledge trap if he wants to kill Isabel for like neutral get up being her rolling. Ooh! Man, he really likes that up smash. It hasn't worked yet, though. Nice. He got him off stage now. Ooh, nice snipe. Yeah, caught the jump immediately. And just putting the bomb there at the ledge is always so good. You always have to respect that. Ooh, he went crazy for the down air. It's too much startup. It's too hard to hit that one. Now he's getting sniped. Oh, and he's gone. Hit out of all his jumps. Forced that directional air dodge. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry for you, Lord Chief. But good luck in 